Let me talk a little bit about my work with hemp oil and MS. I have a very dear friend that has MS <coughs> that she actually was my reason for getting involved with medical marijuana. Uh, she, when I met her and found out the, what she was suffering from, uh, my background is shamanism and I'm always looking for different kinds of healing methodologies and when I found out that a lot of her relief that she had found so far was through the use of marijuana, I uh, decided to dedicate myself to seeing what I could find, if anything, that would add to what she was already using, which was just smoking pot, <coughs> to see if I could assist her. And she was really having a hard time when I first met her, just getting around. And it wound up that, um, well, uh, I got involved with uh, medical marijuana by, I drove her across the state. I was living in Colorado at the time, in southwest Colorado. I drove her across the state to get a card so that she could get legal with medical marijuana. And um, then uh, I kind of stuck around to make sure that the uh, medical marijuana community got off the ground safely in southwest Colorado. So I started doing clinics there and uh, it built up and it wound up at one point in time the police raided me and um, as a result of that uh, two days after they raided me I was given the awareness of hemp oil and I started making it right away and started giving it to all the patients that were coming to me um, and getting outrageous results but my friend um, started getting really good results so much so that she decided to have me make up a pound for her so that she could have two ounces and do um, a course of action just the same as if she had cancer. She wanted to see if she was going to do two ounces over the course of 60 days, if it would do a significant um, healing for her with her MS. And it wound up that um, after she was doing it for three weeks, she had been doing physical therapy since I knew her. I don't know how long since before I knew her. But after she was doing it, um, doing a gram a day for three weeks, her physical therapist kicked her out of physical therapy and said, I don't know what it is that you're doing, but it's been recently, because I've been working with you for a while, and whatever you've been doing in the last three or four weeks, uh, keep it up, because you've improved so much, you don't really need physical therapy anymore. So that was really great. Um, she improved and has continued to improve. Uh, as she's been taking it over the course of now, she's been taking it for over three years. <clears throat> and she's become quite an advocate. She's very involved in the Durango uh, MS Society. And she basically went around and said to everybody there, are you using pot? Do you know about pot? Have you tried pot? And then she spread around temp oil and she's really become quite the advocate for using pot um, for treating MS. But it wound up at one point in time, the MS Society had a doctor come into Durango that had been a, um, she was an MS specialist. And she was giving a talk on MS and the different courses of action that you could treat it with. And at the end of her lecture, uh, my friend raised her hand and she said, um, I was wondering what your thoughts are on using medical marijuana to treat MS. And the doctor said, for some people, that's the only thing that works. Now, I find that highly interesting that here is a doctor that's an MS specialist that is giving a lecture to help MS patients, and she omits the fact that for some patients, the only thing that really works is marijuana. And she didn't even know about hemp oil and the results that my friend has gotten. So. Um, I highly suggest that anybody that has MS get involved with hemp oil, start doing it as much as you can. Um, my friend has been getting great results just doing it on a, on a maintenance dose level. Uh, she got great results before she had her, um, her two ounce over 60 days course of treatment. And ever since then she's continued to do just on a maintenance dose and she continues to get better. So putting that out there. Good luck with it, and uh, yeah, take care. Love you all. Ciao.